What's up? Um, we're just packing and eating breakfast today. Yeah. Because we leave. It's the last day. Isn't that crazy? Very Been sad. the shortest, longest trip ever. True. Yeah. It's been a really long trip because we got here so early and then the competition just feels like it went by like this. How's everyone feeling? We're in better spirits today, for sure. We um, decided that we're coming out raging. It's gonna be a good day. Turn that frown upside down. Yeah, we're gonna go out basically just for ourselves just to make us feel complete for this trip. So we did find out that they took our score back away again this morning. What do you mean? They reversed the score. They changed it last night. They gave you the, the, the time difference? They gave us the time difference and then we checked again this morning and they, they took, took it, away. it away. Are you kidding me? No, so we have another obstacle to go and chat with him again after briefing. I have that on footage and they have admitted that they were wrong. They admitted they were wrong and they just had to figure out like what the seconds were. Yeah. And so they gave us, I think, 30 seconds back. Last which, night. Yeah, which is better than nothing. It's still, we don't think is fair. But, but then they flipped it again? They flipped it again. So, we're just, this is not really our competition, but the good news is though, even though I was so mad last night on camera, I don't want to punch so many people, it, Sam was right, like yesterday we were talking, like we've never had to like motivate ourselves off of anger, you know, we've never had to like work with it's all It's just this, not a feeling we're used to it, having. Yeah, we don't have it ever, and it, we've had things that have gone not our way. We had two events at the games that didn't go our way, and we had, they had a to help us with scoring, but... But I've never seen an I've event admit so that they were wrong and then they usually just won't change it, yeah. then to then change it and then change it back yeah. again. So far, two out of the three screw-ups we've had this competition, they've admitted they were wrong. The well, second one that they did the mistake, they said it's a judgment call on the floor, so we're like, okay, can't do anything about it, right move on, fair enough. The first one that they screwed up, they admitted it was wrong, they told us not to sign the paper and they'll, they'll readjust the score, and we'll sign the papers the next day. That happened, it worked out great, no big deal. Third time though, they gave us the points, admitted they were wrong, and now they took it away. So let me ask, so when they changed that last night, what, where did that, did that adjust you in, your, in the leaderboard? Yeah, they gave us fifth place. And that dropped us down to fifth. Okay, so wait, wait, so when they adjusted and gave you the credit for time, or the that, adjust that new time, it gave it, us fifth place. And now when they've adjusted it back again? We're now dropped down to sixth place, which is a huge difference with money difference. So, yeah. mm -hmm. And also like just, <sighs> just our, our pride and feeling complete about this competition. We've had so many up and downs and we've already kind of like had a bad taste in our mouth once the, the events were announced. But for all this to happen, it's just, I think we've done a really good job with keeping our cool. Um, even though we've had some really crazy outbursts every once in a while, myself included. Um, but this is just kind of ridiculous. It's exhausting. As an athlete, you shouldn't have to be worrying about this kind of stuff. On that note, I'll let you eat your breakfast. Yeah. <laughs> but um, I promised myself today I wasn't going to say anything negative. It's all positive today. So how good looking am I? You are a fabulous Filipino. Exactly. So you can't say anything negative. <laughs> <laughs> I would say that even if I wasn't in that attitude. <laughs> yeah. Like you made, so you might even not even get on to 50. So you're just going to go to one, 125. Got your strategy ready? I think so. Feeling good? I think. Are we exercising? Mm hmm. So we're doing it? Mm hmm. Oh, good. So we're doing the exercising today? I thought we were on vacation. <laughs> no? I'm not here to do that? Heading to briefing on final day. How you guys feeling? Well, Juan, you go first. You better feel good. I'm feeling so good right now. I'm ready to do some rope climbs and kick all those other girls in the butt. Oh. 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 <laughs> fucking shattered. My spine is not there anymore. My glutes seems like they're fucking two tanks. But other than that, I'm feeling good. Oh, my neck is bothering me a little bit too. Yeah. So you're good. probably like 93% right now. Yeah. <laughs> This is what we've worked so hard for. What did you say? This is the good life. This is what we've worked so hard for. What was the... Six days travel, three nights in an airplane, three nights in a hotel. It's a glamorous life being a coach.
You can creatine them. Yep, part of the competing. Reagan, how do you feel after three workouts? I'm feeling good, because I think I've only done... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've only done three, that's right. I'm feeling like I lost some fitness. I feel like I've only done three workouts, and the Eco Sports here. Oh, Eco is rolling in. It's here. Man, Check it out. There's a lot of points now for grabs, so there's 500 points left. So there's everything to play for. Our teams have put them well. Our Invictus have put themselves in a great position, and and now it's time to to kind of round off the job, and then. After some tough workouts with Invictus X, some things going against them, then this is going to be a true test of character to kind of see where they're at and hopefully push push that top three spot. So final day of competition, we'd love to see Invictus X push back into third to at least claim a podium spot. It's going to be hard seeing what's taking place with Invictus X. I mean, they'll be you know disappointed yesterday. They've had three bad judging calls, and then overnight they went from fifth place, so sixth place to fifth place, then then they've gone back to sixth again. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think what's what's been frustrating um, for Invictus X is that the you know we understand that there's judgment calls, but these haven't even been judgment calls. These have been you know judges that have made legitimate mistakes, and to their credit, they've apologized and said I, that's my mistake, and they've tried to do the right thing around it. It's just it, that when it happens in the middle of a competition, it really takes the wind out of your sails. And it's tough for those guys to kind of bounce back, and to have it happen three times makes it really difficult. I'm proud of how they, the effort they put forth, especially Jen Dancer. After having Caitlin, you know, called all the way back to a machine, we lost almost a minute in that process, of 40-ish sec seconds in that process, for Jen Dancer to be on the floor alone and having to chase, you know, the group that far behind. For her to put forth the effort she did, I was super proud. Three, two, one, go! And here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Going into day number four. And you want him to do it! You gotta make some noise! They don't call us until 3.48. What are you looking for, Jim? Our start time. What are you guys sitting in right now? Um, I think we're going to be in third. Oh, who's ahead of you? Sweden and some other team from California. What? Cold what? <laughs> I can't remember their name. So like, what, a CrossFit Invictus uh, team is beating you guys, Jen? <laughs> yeah, crushing us, actually. Crushing? <laughs> yeah. Jen. Yeah. They're really good at swimming. That's it? We're all landlocked. They're really good at running in the <laughs> desert. We they all PR their snatches. <laughs> we didn't. You don't have an ocean in Kentucky? There are no oceans in Kentucky now. Mm. 348? No. Yeah, what time is they, it now? They crashed yesterday. Where are we in regards to standing and how's the uh, weekend going so far? Uh, it's going pretty good. We're in first as of now. Going into the last three events, so it's a good spot to be in. What happened in the last workout? Lauren crushed it, absolutely just dominated the heat. She tied for second, so that did us really good. We're eating the buffet tonight. And the uh, Swedish team that was like uh, kind of behind you, where did yeah. they place? Uh, a little bit behind us, like I think four or five spots. I think so. they were ninth. Oh, okay, yeah, the ninth, yeah. We just gotta keep hammering, man. There's no letting off. They just put the knife in and twist it until it's done. Mm. Rasmus? Yes, what's thoughts, up? Thoughts so far? Words so far? Was that the question? Thoughts. Thoughts so far? Oh, well, I'm, I'm not from here, so I don't understand English very well. Um, <laughs> Well, but Tommy, like, he hit it right on the Press right on nail. Press it on camera, they won't let you back in. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you're going to have to do a lot of subtitles work after this. Yeah. Like, every time I'm like, on the camera, it's going to be subtitles at the bottom. Yeah, um, well, uh, well, but he was, yeah, as I mentioned, nail, and he hit it right on nail, yeah. Really good. I tied for second. It looked like you are doing great out there. Um, I guess I wasn't for a second. I guess I was sitting in fourth or fifth, and then I ended up catching all the girls I kicked up for that last handstand walk, and... Gave myself enough time to get that last rope climb, which was different, I think, between second and fourth. But man, my forearms are pumped right now. Like, I did not think that rope or handstand walk was going to be that hard. You're pretty excited in the, uh, uh, I saw you jumping up and down in the stands. I was super pumped. There's two ways to play that as an athlete. You can either sit back and say, okay, I'm going to rest and get my next segment. 
she chose to kick up immediately and trust herself. She not only made the segment, but then gave herself enough time to then run to the rope and get one final rope climb, which then tied her for second. So it ended up huge in terms of placement. Um, so I was super pumped with the, just the mindset and the aggressiveness to actually go for you know, a, a win in, in essence instead of just lay up to accept that spot. Again, kicking up for that handstand walk, like that first handstand walk, like I was a little shaky just because my forearms were so pumped and I was like, oh my gosh, this is going to be way harder than I thought it would be. And then in the briefing, they didn't show that we had to handstand walk on the way back. It was more of a jog back, I thought. So I only thought I had to do a handstand walk halfway. And he was like, no, no, you need to kick back up. And then that was, a, that was a surprise for me because I thought I was only going halfway there. And I was like, oh my gosh, this is going to be a long handstand walk. Oh, I got great on my teeth. Yeah, it's jealous. <laughs> I think I got it. How did uh, how'd that go for you? Oh, we're fine. Uh, good forearm pump from that. I can't tell. Cool. Yeah, no, that's why I look all vascular right now. We have three more events. Honestly, like, well, just back to serious. We have three more events. One of them is double points. That means that's 400 points at least. We don't have the final yet. That could easily be a, a double point, maybe even triple point event like it's been in the past. So if you if you just take it at, like, that's at least a minimum of 400 points, and we're only 700 points in now, like, um, so that, that means that a lot of still have to grab um, in both good and bad, right? So, so yeah, it's not over yet. It's looking good, but it's not over. Bake and burn. Bake and burn. Bake and cheese burger. I wish. With double cheese and extra sauce. If you do well, you can have a bacon cheeseburger tonight. Look at that, that's motivation right there. Does that really motivate you, Timmy? Yeah, I love food. Yeah? Love food. Motivation talk right there. That's, uh, that's coaching at its finest. That's high level coaching. Tina, would you have any inspirational quotes for Tommy or for Holden before they go in? Don't fuck up. Don't fuck it up. I could have told you he was going to say Don't that. Don't fuck it up. Don't fuck it up. <laughs> Uh, no comment. <laughs> Plead the fifth. Cameras. The fifth doesn't work in this country. Yeah, oh shoot. Yeah. I guess cut off my hand. Oh, that's insensitive. I don't know. <laughs> Whatever. I'll take the punishment. Send it my way. You already tried to cut off your hand, Chandler? Yeah, you're right. I did, yeah. <laughs> did, Unsuccessful. Yeah, that's a good point. <laughs> I'm a quitter, I guess. I'm ready for it now, though. I've yeah, got the mental the toughness. Way, yeah. Exactly. I'm yeah. ready. <laughs> hand, hand cut off 2019. That's my resolution. <laughs> So do you know where you're on the leaderboard now? Have they updated that? I haven't checked yet. That's what I need you for. I don't have a uh, Wi-Fi. <laughs> Even the masseuse likes me more than you. Masseuse? Ooh, makes me feel very sexual. Masseuse? <laughs> I'm not a masseuse. <laughs> well, I wasn't going there myself. Makes me feel very masseuse. sexual. <laughs> those are like those funny massages. No, it's not. That's what it ain't like in the Chinese world it is. In no. Vancouver, you call them the funny masseuse. No, that's called This, a, that's this called is in the Chinese. Tongue. It's a registered massage it's therapist. Called, if you are one, but I'm not one. It's called what? Why, then? I'm a sports chiropractor. I don't know what's worse. These aren't massages with happy endings. <laughs> Do you not know, hear that chiropractic is a, is a fraud? Oh yeah, I know. I, I hate chiros. I'm an anti-chiro. Oh good. Yes, so I'm only like in favor of the ones trained See? in Canada. Uh, That's why no, she's taking care of me. There's no such thing as a subluxation. I can't cure autism, and manipulation See? isn't the way. Huh. Yeah. I mean, the first chiropractor said that they, they cured uh, You're hearing? Dead people. Oh yeah, I know. Yeah. No, in Canada we don't, all those techniques, I honestly don't know where they come from. Like They come from nowhere. It's very hard to find people though to work with because you have to make sure they have the same philosophy and vision and stuff because the chiropractic, like I always ask them, how many patients do you treat a day and do you manipulate all your patients? Yeah, come in. Sure. Come in. Here we go. I'm not on the big this. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Sorry. Good job. That's going to go by really fast. Adrian! Adi! Yeah. Good luck. It's probably pooping. I don't know. Thanks, Jen. I'm so excited. I'm surprised we haven't seen a pukey yet. <laughs> Three, two, one, go! This, this shouldn't go on camera. Yeah. What's up?
<laughs> when I saw you at regionals, you said that that was it, you were done. Yeah, at the end of this year I'm done. So I'm going on a team next year. Really? Yeah, I wanted to come here because, this will sound terrible, but it is essentially paid for by qualifying. How'd that workout go? Good, that was a sprint workout. I was last on the bike, first off the bike, because I'm a fucking man. Yeah. And uh, burpees, I'm not burpee queen, but I'm good at them. So where did the fucking man end up on, on that workout? Okay, listen, rope climbs, handstand walk, it's for gymnasts. I'm not a sissy boy, I'm uh -huh. a man. Uh -huh. I got hair on my chest, even though it's shaved. Yeah. I'm not afraid to have of, a little... That's kind of feminine, shaving your chest. Garrett Fisher taught me to shave my chest, okay? He said I couldn't work out with him if I didn't get that shit shaved, so uh -huh. that's where I learned it. But he's not here. He's up here though, he's in my head a little bit. All right. All right. So where did you come in that workout? I think I got, I got second in the heat by like one second. I finished it and no one had finished it yet. So I'm sure some guys will finish it right now, but that'll be a good one for me. And so then, all this hype that you did well in that and you're a man, you didn't do very well, you kind of. Uh, I mean, if you put it that way, you could say that about anything, you know? <laughs> so let's not put oh, it that way. Oh, putting it that way. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Getting so, sick of you, McCoy. So where are you sitting on the leaderboard? Hopefully higher than 15th right now. Because the, the goal is to be who? Chantel Lohr. Yeah, Lona. Lona. Yeah, Chantel Lona. Okay. So, where is she on the leaderboard? It doesn't matter. We got two more events, okay? Mm. Talk to me in three hours. Right. Three hours. I gotta cool down. <laughs> As an athlete, obviously, it's difficult to fund your trips if, unless you're a big dog. Um, sponsors help out a little bit, but this is a good comp because essentially, you know, it does pay your way over here. I so agree. That's why I, exactly I did it last year, and that's why I came back. So and then I'm going on a team in January. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Really I've registered. I've, re I've registered in their comp. So wait, no more individuals, that's no it? No more individuals. Will you leave your shoes on the floor like uh, oh Stacey God, Taylor? No. No? no. <laughs> Come on, be dramatic. God, no. Do it. No? No. Dramatic really? Friend. But no. this is really your last individual this event? This is my last event. Are you sad? No. No, okay. I'm excited. <laughs> really? Excited to do something different. All right. Like go on a team and do something different. Do you know who you would go on a team with? Well, yes. Yes. So you keep it that secret? Or? No, I, we've already qualified. For the, we're doing the Australian qualifier. So it's Khan, Porter, Brandon, Swan, Harriet, and myself. Oh God, Porter and Swan? Yes. Uh, I can handle those There's too. some poodles on our team, <laughs> but no. Nah, Harriet and I are, down to earth, so we'll pull them into line. Oh, yeah. Well, sad to do this the last competition. Uh, Not is an really. Individual. Not really. Um, I'm sad for you. Uh, no. I don't know. I feel like, I just feel like once you feel like you've done something enough, you can move on to something else. <laughs> How's the event going, Jen? It's good. Yeah? Yeah. Where are you guys sitting? Um, I think we're in third right now. Do you lead a board or do you not lead a board? Oh, no, I look. Yeah. Yeah, I like to know. I always thought it was kind of sad when people don't lead a board. It's like, don't you want to know where you stand? Yeah, you have to know. Really? Yeah. Well, I have to know. I think it's a good idea. Yeah. So you're in third? Yeah, we're in third by like a few points. Not many. I can't remember how many. Who's ahead of you? Um, Sweden. And then this team from California. Crossing in this is again? <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah. Those uh, assholes are killing it. Is the individual not That's fun anymore? Deal. Uh, Why are you give, like well, well, I should say giving up? I feel what? like I feel like the sport is moving quite quickly in terms of uh, the quality and the level that's around, and I feel like I have some weaknesses that are terrible, obviously, that don't allow me to progress as fast as I would like. So you're leaving as she's making a comeback. <laughs> or should we, as the song says, should we not call it a comeback? I don't know what you want to call it. I'm just dabbling. Yeah, she's dabbling. She's dabbling. It's good to dabble. It's good to do different things, I feel. Yeah. I'm like the opposite because it's gone like all the stuff that is now really big, like the endurance stuff, the stuff I really suck at and I want to prove to myself that I can do it. So it's stuff yeah. I like. How um, are these last two events for your team? These, I think they're fun. I mean, they're good, but they're also good for everybody, you know? Everybody's strong and... They're good. Everyone at this stage, like talking to everyone around here, is already getting extremely tired and seems to be run down. I mean, are you noticing that or are you pretty sprightly and feeling good and your team? Maybe. I'm okay, but I also didn't do the handstand rope climb event today. Like, that's the only thing that I've done. 
So I think, you know what I mean? Cassidy did that workout earlier, but we've just done one workout so far. Who's your coach? <laughs> Who's my coach? Your boyfriend? Oh, yes. Who's your coach? My man friend. No. It's good to boyfriend. Partner. Partner. Man friend. Is that partner. weird having a uh, a coach as a partner? Oh, it's terrible at times, but it's great at other times. Yep. I agree. It's the highs, it's the highs and lows. Did you hear that, Coach I did, Darren? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, I don't like it. Yeah. <laughs> I agree. It's good, it's good at some times, but other times it's like the worst thing ever. Because you can't you need to be able to separate like sport life and life. I don't think I separate it very well. I don't think I separate it. Anytime you want to change, you guys can come to Invictus. Yeah. That's where the fun's at. Oh really? Yeah. I'll keep it in mind. <laughs> We're going into the second to last event and um, for the teams. Does Invictus X have any chance of getting yeah. the podium or is it statistically not an option well, right now? It's statistically possible but they have to rely on other teams to do that. So there's every possibility, like all they can do is control what they can, can control and that's the performance on the out there on the floor and if they do well and everything falls into place then they're going to climb up that leaderboard. There's 200 points available so I mean there's everything to pay for. When you come to these events do you change I mean your nutrition at all like do you bring your meals all in or? No. Um, um, no I just try to eat as much as I can I have a hard time eating so I like like I just drank carbs. I just try to eat as much as I can. It's a question I usually don't ask a woman, but I'll ask you. How old are you? 32. With all the changes going on this year in a sport, how long do you think you'll stay like competitive? Um, or that you'll choose to stay competitive like and do these events? Well, after last year, I was kind of like I was okay being done competing, but then Lucas asked me to be on a team for Dubai. So Lucas who? Lucas Esslinger. And um, so we're here. We're just gonna see how this goes. And I don't know, I'll compete on a team. It's more fun that way, but I just don't wanna compete individually anymore. Kinda over it. So and, and with all the changes, like you don't even know. Like I'm competing on an all girls team at Wadapalooza, competing here. I'll just compete for fun. Oh, I'm so glad it's a barbell. I got no more fucking machines. I did all right. I got second in my heat. I think. I think. Wait, where are you sitting overall? Probably a little bit higher than some other Invictus athletes, but we're not sure yet. Probably not. Um, this is the only athlete that you're supposed to be beating. Wait, where are you on the leaderboard? Do you know? Twelve. I might not be higher than 12, but we have one more event. So I just got to win it basically and she has to withdraw. Wait, do we have a wager? Is there, any, is there anything lost on this? Like, like, what's the actual bet here? Um, I have a small ego and I need to be inflated by beating someone before they come to the gym. <laughs> He's nervous about me moving to San Diego apparently. You cannot let this guy win. All right. He's not going to. Not that to. you need any more motivation. He's not going to. I just, he's just nervous. One more event. We'll see. Yeah. Do you have an interesting question no, for me? No, I really don't. I'm kind of washed out with questions. Yeah. Uh, um, I, <laughs> How's the weekend going? Number. It's going. <laughs> question number. Uh, how are you feeling? I think that one's been asked a few times. Forearms are a little sore. Quads are a little sore. Um, what's your thoughts going into this next event? I like the barbell. The barbell is fun. I think that was the top three, man. That's it? Yeah, that's, that was the top three right there. Yeah, good. You can have my job. There you go. Take the camera. <laughs> You're yeah, hired. Right, Bob. Go hire it. I'm gone. Three, two, one, go.
If you're feeling a little sore from all of that cheering and all of that yelling, go see our friends at Nano M. Thank you. Yep. Make sure you tell them James sent you, but go out there, take a quick Make break, get yourself some coffee, me. get yourself some food, and then we'll see you back here. And once again, we're going to be giving out two iPhone X's before the start of the next heat, baby. All right, we'll see you in a few moments. Thank you, guys. See you around. Three. One, two, three. Wait, show my shirt. Oh, okay. Because uh, they're Nike athletes. That's, that's a cool shirt, though. Thank you. One, two, three. You probably got like six on there. Thank you very much. Thank you for yes, that. It was really yeah, afraid right. with your fifth snatch. Yes, because you guys are awesome. Down. Really? Yeah, awesome. but Regan and uh, Tommy did the good job. Awesome. So, good night to the final event. Um, and Invictus <laughs> are 42 points ahead. Did you hear the news? I just heard. And I was already excited about this workout before we even heard the news, but man, I think $30,000 is a really good way to push yourself for 60 Toto Bar. <laughs> so I'm excited for this one. It'll be good. And it's the last one, so we're, we're excited to go on a bang. We're about to head into the final event here, getting prepped for the final event. And of course, we've got to finish strong. Uh, we named the team last year Invictus X for the 10 year. So uh, this will be them punching their card for the 11th year uh, going to the CrossFit Games. Yeah, a lot of people don't know that. It's an interesting stat. Like, if we qualify, if we send a team from this event, we will have we had a team at every single CrossFit Games yep. uh, from CrossFit Invictus, right? Yeah, every single CrossFit Games. The only other team that had been done 10 years was our good friends at CrossFit Fort Vancouver, Adam Neifer and... Uh, uh, I'm not sure that they intend to compete much this year. I know Adams kind of said that last year was his last, so we'll miss having them in the competition if they choose that route, but um, I always wanted to keep our string going as long as possible. So have you told the team that? Have you added that extra pressure on? No, no. We haven't told the team anything. After they uh, close this out and win the thing, then you know we'll let them know that they've carried on the legacy. Doing really good. I like it a lot. I'm ready. So right and left. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Put us. Put us. Put us. And then what are you doing? Switch. 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 Finish your bar muscle. Alright, sounds good, man. There's no cooties. Congratulations, man. Thanks. I'm so happy for you. What are you going to do with it? I'm going to eat it. Like, are, you, are you that hungry right now? Okay. He's already licked the head of it. You should always lick the head. That's what she said. Excuse me? <laughs> oh, sorry. Well, I made it <laughs> I was just yeah. saying, eat chocolate, guys. Hey, 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 man. Ready? You get the right side. Basically, we could like take so much time off now because game is so far away. I'm like, do I have to still do the open as an individual? <laughs> no. Okay, good. Jamie, walk. Punch our ticket! I was totally picking Woo! my notes right there. You better start. <laughs> I totally picked my nose in the middle of that. I wasn't ready. Hey guys, we just wrapped up uh, Dubai CrossFit Championship. 
I'm super proud. We have a team going back to the CrossFit Games for the 11th consecutive season. Um, our Invictus X did great, and we've had some really top-notch performances from individuals, so couldn't be happier with the way it all went. Um, now on to the next, Wadapalooza. So what just happened, guys? Uh, we punched our ticket to the CrossFit Games! Got a chunk of Santa Claus. My belly hurts. <laughs> 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 that, was so, that was so bad. Yeah, that was, so that was not exciting at all. People want real. <laughs> that's fucking real. I'm tired of that's fuck. real. <laughs> How are you guys feeling about these two trophies? Trying happiness right now. Cheers to happiness. Can we like get on that? Tommy, is it true that tomorrow by 12 a.m. you'll be able to look on eBay for 2018 DFC or DCC uh, gold medal first place team? Is that true? Just yes. for that 12 a.m. Yes. tomorrow morning. Yes. It will start at $5,000. Is that true? Yeah. And it will be a 12, 12 hours auction. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Tomorrow 12 a.m. No reserve. Eastern time. No reserve. Yeah, exactly. All right. Can we have you guys unite together? Can we have you guys unite together? Well, coaches, we appreciate you guys. Appreciate you guys more than anything. So you guys are you guys are taking home the day. He's trying. He's trying. He's trying, he's trying to pass off the carry on. And that one is worth 10k. That's what we heard. Yeah. That's heavy, dude. It's heavy. It's worth 10k. The only thing is they'll be told. The only thing is we promise. You're way stronger than I am. That's definitely your carry-on. Uh, guys, you know, that's going to go on eBay on tomorrow morning at 12 a.m. You promise that everyone. <laughs> so, 12 a.m. Eastern time, that one's going on eBay. It's starting eBay. At, starting at 5K. Yeah. Going to take pictures. Yeah, so starting at 5K, no yeah. reserve. Yeah. No reserve. <laughs> 12 a.m. Eastern time. Yeah. Going to go on for 12 hours, and then highest bid gets in. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs>